All right, next up here is the Raspberry Pi. It has USB inputs for here uh, by an RJ5 connector. Audio HDMI output in. TF slot there for uh, uh, stuff. And Xbox controller connected. The mine came with all these other USB controller pads. Like here's the Genesis. One N64. And yes, Super Nintendo's in there, and then uh, these, like, they look kind of like PlayStation controllers. Generic things. Anyway, that's what came with my package. And then now I'm gonna turn this on. Show what. Alright, we're right on here. Okay. This is the menu uh, for the uh, RetroPod. Once it boots up, I have here Amiga, Amstrad, um, Personal computer, arcade, Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, Commodore 64, ColecoVision, Daphne, uh, that's really just uh, laser discs with the uh, dragons later on it, Famicom, family computer. Game & Watch, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Intellivision, Main, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, or the Genesis as is known in America. MSX Computer System, Tuna 64, Neo Geo, NES, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, PC Engine, or Tur TurboGrafx-16 in America, uh, Ports, this is modified versions of um, Doom, Color Games, um, to work well with the re with the retro Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, PSP, PlayStation, Genesis 32X, Sega CD, uh, SG1000 and Sega's arcade uh, units, Super Nintendo, Vectrex, Video Pack. I'm uh, not sure about that one. Uh, Virtual Boy. Wonders, Wonder Swan. Wonder Swan Color. Shark 6800. Uh, that was a computer system in Europe and, and in Japan. Sinclair. Uh, ZX Spectrum. ZX Spectrum. And then Mega CD32. And then, so these, then this is collections by um, by series, publishers, uh, and stuff like that. Um, let's go back here. Try to get back to N64. Uh, originally, here we go. Okay. Doom 64, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, and Wipeout 64 are the only games originally on this, on the RetroPie with the included um, SD card. The game's on there. Uh, these are Mikro Super Smash Brothers, Mario Party, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, those are the ones I added through a USB drive. Um, I'm hoping this starts up. Alrighty. Uh, 
Uh, for some reason, B and A is kind of sw swapped here. Like, I'm using a wired Xbox controller and pressing the B button to confirm A is, is to go back or whatever. I'll clear some video cropping here that we needed. Um, uh, seems to be playing okay, so it's pretty cool. So it looks now I know I can actually add. Um, And uh, games, game ROMs to it. Oh, here we go. It's part of the intro sequence here. I'm just trying to wait until it gets to like a playable section to see what the controls are like. Um, Yeah, the rendering is a little off because uh, it's Navi's um, ball of light. Like, yep. Carol chain up there. Of course, the game looks better with the rendering stuff on the Wii, the, the virtual console, because it was actually modified, um, modified, modified emulator shells specifically for each game uh, for it to run well. Uh, come on. Okay, now we have controls, all right. Okay. Okay, that was really weird. That was a really big lag between opening the pause. Yeah, the the uh, menu menu. Oh, 
Okay. All right. So it looks like I'm okay. Now I got to collect 40 rupees to the uh, the Deku shield. We're just kind of funny playing Zelda with the Xbox controller right now. On the emulation machine. Uh, looks like, um, it seems we don't notice that. Wow, seeing the original resolution blown up. Uh, looks good. <laughs> uh, looks, you know, kind of off. It's like, is it still how I remembered the game? Uh, I got to here at training ground. Grab the sword. Oh, there we go. That's a movie. Um, boulder. Yeah, here we go. Looks like Y button is B. We're just kind of weird. Alright, emulation not precise on that. Um, uh, next, I'm gonna see if Smash Brothers loads up. Let's see how it plays. I remember, uh, you want guess? Okay. 
Okay. Oh wow, that is some. Um... That's some messed up audio there. Shield plus, all right, shield plus, a, plus attack. Oh, this is lagging. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, there was that, so... <sighs> Alright, so... Of course, Nintendo. Of course, NES and all that. This is like every... Like every single NES game. Let me take that in. Like space here. here. Um, Afterburner. Let's get another small one. Uh, so you had had. Okay. One of our games here, Snatchers. Sega CD is on here. Uh, Sonic CD here as well. Um, uh, there's also going to place favorites, like a favorite folder. Um, Okay, here we go. Custom collection. Uh, these are the ones I have triggered so far for their favorites. And that's it. It's like, yeah, there is really like 22,000 games on here. So, there's like almost every single Game Boy Advance game you can really think of. Um, there's some of the Army Man games missing on here, but like most, 
there's like 500 titles on here. Um, for, I didn't know there was Broken Sword Shadows of the Templar port for the Game Boy Advance. It's a funny one right there. Breath of Fire 1 and 2. I knew about that one. But, you know, Castlevania games. Dark Ramp. I can't have that copy. Donkey Kong ports. Yeah, the Final Fantasy games was on here. A uh, Fire Emblem. I find another uh, Guilty Gear game to go advance. Not funny. Harry Potter. Um, More puzzle and platform games with the United Genre. Here are Kirby games, Lego stuff. Minor golf tennis. Metro games. Licensed game and stuff, Pets Caribbean, so that. There we go, through the Pokemons. Well, I think of Resident Evil 2. That was funny. Um, Sonic Ports. Spyro the Dragon, Star Wars. Whole bunch of different stuff. Um, um, Tales of Fantasia, there we go. Uh, the one on the other system, the controls block for the Japanese one. Pretty sure that's the, that's the US one. The Zelda. The Lord of the Rings games, I do have these. Uh, I feel like the Ring. I finished up to a, up to a point and then just quit. But uh, which that was true. I think I do have actual hard, hard copies of those. Oh, you clear that with a uh, Game Boy player on the GameCube. My difficulties, I do have PostGator 2 Game Boy fans. Army Man, I do like Army Man 1 and 2. Um, I think I'm going to here. Um, but there's like a whole bunch of like stuff in here that's like hard to find. It's going to cost you a lot of money to get the original stuff for. But, uh, oh wow, DDR in the game board. God, that was a thing. Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. I should have a copy. I gave it to a family member. Never saw it again. Um, yeah, basically most any game you can really think of so a name and all this. Like any any arcade game, any game you can really think of is going to be on here. Like Sega Master System, NES, Mega Drive, all the stuff. Yeah, it's although It's anything you really think of is on here. Um, instead, this just be like 22,000 games on here. I I believe them. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, I uh, haven't really tested multiplayer yet, um, but um, 
pretty sure they would work. Just use the USB controllers. But anyway, uh, I guess that's it.